Take a break and join us. Gold Town, the Pahrump Nugget and Lakeside Casinos. Good evening. Well, the 62 annual Grammy Awards held last Sunday night started off with an amazing performance by singer, songwriter, and rapper Lizzo, who also took home three awards that night. 18 year old Billie Eilish swept the major categories with the Best New Artist Record of the Year, Song of the Year, and Album of the Year. The star studded night had tears falling when just hours earlier the world learned of the loss of nine lives in a tragic helicopter crash. In Calabasas. There were many tributes throughout the evening to basketball legend Kobe Bryant, who passed away Sunday with his 13 year old daughter and seven others. Grammy host Alicia Keys spoke somberly when she opened the show and addressed the audience, paying her deepest respect at the tragic loss. Standing in the Staples Center, home to the Grammys and Los Angeles Lakers, Keys referred to the center as the house that Kobe built as a photo of Kobe was displayed on the overhead screen. Keys asked the audience to hold Kobe and Gianna and all those who were lost in the helicopter crash in their thoughts, prayers, and spirits. Keys was then joined on stage by Boys to Men and saying it's hard to say goodbye. For a list of all the winners and highlights, go to Grammys.com. Well, Wayne Newton made an appearance in the Las Vegas courtroom this week fighting to have his personal items returned. Memorabilia from inside the former home of the entertainer is the focus of a lawsuit between Newton and the company that bought the home, which is Smoke Tree LLC. Casa de Shenandoah in Las Vegas was sold for, with everything from Jack Benny's violin, Jackie Gleason's pool cue, and Nat King Cole's watch. The owners say they bought the property with everything inside. Wayne disagrees and would like to get those irreplaceable items back. According to Smoke Tree's attorney, they own all of the Newton's personal property that was left behind, but the Newton's argue they had permission to store those items on site. In court, videos were shown of Wayne Newton with some of those pieces. Is Dog the Bounty Hunter ready to remarry? A clip on the upcoming Dr. Oz show shows Dwayne the Dog Chapman proposing to longtime friend Moon Angel. Chapman's wife Beth died in June of last year after a very public battle with cancer. On the new Dr. Oz episode, Chapman is tearful and says, I am a lot happier with her around. Moon Angel, will you marry me? He says to Angel, who appeared shocked as she turned to him, well, I guess you will have to watch that Dr. Oz episode to find out more. And that's your entertainment news for this week. I'm Lynn Peterson.